We humans have begun to play God breeding animals to create all new hybrids. Often the stuff of ancient legends, these incredible hybrid animals are rarely seen in the wild. If the movies have taught us anything it is that such antics may go horribly wrong but, for now, let's just enjoy looking at these cute animals and hope they don't rebel or attack. These are 10 amazing hybrid animals that actually exist. If you have not subscribed kindly do so. Let's jump right into it. First on our list is the Liger. Many people get surprised to find out that Ligers are real. A Liger is an offspring of a male lion and a female tiger. This means that the Liger has parents that are different species, but the same genus. Ligers only exist in captivity today, because the habitats of the parental species do not overlap out in the wild. They are only crossbred in captivity, either accidentally or more often, purposefully as a rare attraction. They typically grow much larger than either parent species. This is because animal species have a natural hormone that stops them from overgrowing in one of their parents. A slight mutation can stop them having it. But in the case of a liger, it's the female lion which carries the hormone to stop growth. So a male lion genes combined with a female tiger results in a much larger cat in the form of a liger. Ligers tend to be more like a lion than a tiger. They are large and muscly. They can reach a length of 9.8 to 12 featuring 3 to 3.6 meters and weigh about 705 to 1,200 pounds, 320 to 550 kilograms. Male ligers have a mane, like a male lion, but often shorter than their fathers. They have dark tawny fur with broad heads. They often have faint tiger stripes inherited from their mother. Ligers are fond of swimming, just like tigers, lions don't like water, and are also quite sociable, just like lions. Some interesting facts about Liger include 1. The Liger is the largest known cat in the world. 2. It's estimated that there are fewer than 100 Ligers in existence. 3. Ligers often suffer from obesity because they don't get enough exercise in their small habitats and cages. 4. Ligers have relatively long lives. 5. Hybrid big cats are known to be fertile. 6. Ligers are fast. They have been clocked running up to 50 miles per hour. 7. The Liger shares more traits with a lion than a tiger. 8. A Liger's roar sounds like a lion. Second on our list is the Tigan. Unlike the Liger, the Tigan is a hybrid of a male tiger and a female lion. Lionesses carry a growth inhibitory gene. Therefore, one of the main differences between ligers and tigans is that tigans do not grow as large as ligers. They can however produce lion roars and tiger growls. Tigans are not only smaller than ligers, they are often smaller than their parents. Most of them suffer from dwarfism. They also display a mix of lion and tiger-like behaviors and can greatly enjoy swimming and socializing. Like ligers, tigans have light golden fur and may show faint spots or stripes on their fur. They have a very short mane, like a ruff around the neck. Wolfen is third on our list. Keikaimalu, the world's first known surviving wolfen, was born to a male false killer whale and a female bottlenose dolphin. The male false killer whale named Lanui Kahe shared an aquatic pen with Punahil, a female Atlantic bottlenose dolphin. Lanui Kahe weighed in at a hefty 2,000 pounds and 14 feet long, while Punahil tipped the scales at 400 pounds and measured 6 feet. Kekaimalu's features combined both species of animals perfectly. Her head resembles a false killer whale, but the tip of the nose and her fins look like a dolphin's. However, her covering is darker than a dolphin's. The name, Holfin, comes from a mixture of the false killer whale and bottlenose dolphin names, However, the false killer whale scientifically belongs to the dolphin family. Both the false killer whale and the bottlenose dolphin are part of the toothed whale suborder. From information that has been captured by holfins born in captivity, it appears that the holfin tends to possess a mix of both parents' physical characteristics. For example, the holfin's skin is dark grey, which appears to be a mix between the false killer whale's black skin tone and the bottlenose dolphin's light grey skin tone. 
The Holfen 66 teeth also appear to be a medium between its false killer whale 44 teeth and bottlenose dolphins 88 teeth parents. It is also assumed that a healthy Holfen may have a lifespan of around 40 years and grow to an average size of 12 to 20 feet, which is also a medium between its parents' age and size. Although reports have been made about Holfens possibly living in the wild, there is not enough quality information or DNA tests that exist to give a conclusive answer to whether or not Holfens live outside of captivity and if so what type of habits and behaviors they possess. It is assumed that if Holfens do exist in the wild, they may be found in areas where false killer whales and bottlenose dolphins are likely to be found living in close proximity. Source is fourth on our list. The source is the result of crossbreeding a male zebra, stallion, with a female horse, mare, to produce an animal that looks more like a horse than a zebra, but one that has stripes. The source is very horse-like in appearance as it inherits its shape, size, color and temperament from its mother. One of the source's most notable features is the dark stripes that are boldest on their legs and rear, along with also commonly being found on the rest of the body, neck and head. The Zorse is an animal that tends to have short, coarse fur that can range in color from tan to brown to black, with a darker mane and tail although the exact characteristics of the Zorse are dependent on the breed of the female horse. Zorses have a large head with a long muzzle, pricked up ears and large, dark eyes with long eyelashes that help to stop things from getting in their eyes. Saucers have long, thin legs that are incredibly muscular and end in generally black but sometimes white-colored hooves that are made from horn and allow the Zorse to be more sturdy when moving through various different terrains. The Zorse is sterile meaning that although they still display normal breeding behavior they are unable to produce offsprings of their own. Zorses tend to be very healthy and hardy animals that can live to be more than 30 years old. They are herbivorous animals meaning that they only consume plants and plant matter to survive. They spend almost all of their time grazing and like horses, the Zorse has an advanced sense of taste which allows it to sort through grasses and grains in search of its most favorable foods. Fifth on the list is the Zonki. Unlike the Zorse, a Zonki is a hybrid cross produced by mating a zebra and a donkey. Zonkeys are not a true species because they have an odd number of chromosomes and cannot reproduce. While zonkeys are rare, they are bred in a number of zoos and specialized farms around the world. Zonkeys are also referred to as zebonki, zebrini, zebrula, zebodonks, and several other interesting names, depending on who is breeding them and what combination of donkey and zebra species are being used. Typically, Zonkeys are very rare in nature and are usually only seen in zoos or on game animal farms. An animal is only classed as a zonkey if it is sired from a male zebra and female donkey, as one that has a male donkey and female zebra parents are known as a zedong. Like many other animal hybrids around the world, the zonkey is a sterile animal meaning that it cannot produce offspring of its own. The zedong is also sterile. Unlike the liger though, Zonkeys can live in the wild as zebras and donkeys are naturally found in close proximity to one another in parts of Africa. Although they are very rare, cases of wild zonkeys have been reported, but the majority of them today are found in zoos around the world and are bred as tourist attractions. They tend to be found in zoos and animal institutions where they are generally bred deliberately. The zonkey also has a black mane that extends along the ridge of its back to the tip of its black tail and a large head and ears which makes the zonkey look much more like a donkey than a zebra. The zonkey not only inherits the stripes of the zebra but also its wild streak. One of the zonkey's most favorable characteristics is its sheer power, a combination of the stamina of the donkey mixed with the speed and strength of the zebra. This gives the zonkey skills that can make it a valuable work animal that can pull heavy loads. Karma is number six on the list. Karma is a hybrid animal created by crossbreeding dromedary one hump camel from Asia with South American llama. Despite differences in size, morphology and geographic distribution, camel and llama are distant relatives. Karma was created by crossbreeding male camel with female llama. Mixing of male llama and female camel proved to be unsuccessful. Karma was created by artificial insemination due to great differences in the size of camel and llama. 
camel is six times heavier than llama. They evolved from the same ancestor, camelid species that lived 30 million years ago in the area of Rocky Mountains in the North America. The creation of the new type of camelid is described as miracle due to 30 million years of genetic isolation of camel and llama. The first karma was born on January 14, 1998 in the United Emirates. The aim was to create an animal capable of higher wool production than the llama, with the size and strength of a camel and a cooperative temperament. Interesting karma facts. Karma can reach 49 to 57 inches in height, at the shoulder, and 180 to 1.00 pounds of weight. Karma is covered with soft fur that is slightly shorter than the fleece of llama. They have short ears, long tail and cloven hooves. It doesn't have hump on the back. Karma is a herbivore. Its diet is based on various types of shrubs. Just like camel, karma can drink large quantities of water at once and survive long periods of time without it. Number 7 on our list is the zoo. A zoo is a male hybrid of a yak and a domesticated cow. A female offspring is known as a zomo or jom. They are larger and stronger than cattle or yaks. Their purpose in Central Asian is being used for heavy hauling and plowing. Zomo are fertile while Zo are sterile. They are larger and stronger than yak or cattle from the region. Zoos are often kept as farm animals in Tibet and Mongolia today and they can be frequently seen on the pastures in the mountains in these areas. Zo inherited best of both parents. It is strong, productive in terms of meat and milk animal that doesn't increase farming expenses. Thanks to the ability to perform various tasks, popularity and number of zoos in Asia is on the constant rise. Zoos can reach 5.5 feet in height and up to 1300 pounds of weight. Males are larger than females. Zoo is covered with long, shaggy coat that is typical for yak in the shades of white, brown and black. Zoo has cattle-like face with large horns. It has hump on the back and large, sturdy body. In some areas, Zo is also known as Yakal, because it was created by mixing the yak with cow. Zo is herbivore that doesn't require any additional supplements aside from grass, lichen and other plants that are normally consumed. Zo is often larger than both of its parents and able to survive on the altitude of more than 10,000 feet. Savannah Cat is number 8 on the list. The Savannah Cat is a hybrid cross between an African serval and a domestic cat. Much like its wild cousin, the savannah cat is a tall, lean cat with long legs, big ears, and a long neck. Its coat bears a characteristic spotted pattern that gives it a wild appeal. And that wildness is on full display. The breed retains the large, perked ears, long legs, and spotted coat of its African cat heritage, while keeping the friendly demeanor of a domestic pet. One thing to know about savannah is that these kitties are big. Adult savannah cats can grow up to 17 inches tall and weigh 25 pounds, depending on generation. First generation crosses called F1 and F2 are generally larger than later crosses and have beautiful spotted coats in shades of brown, tan, and black. Later generations are further removed from their wild ancestor, yet retain the colors and patterns of earlier generations. They're just smaller and a bit more docile. Savannah cats are loyal, intelligent, and inquisitive kitties, but might not be the best choice for first-time cat owners. The savannah cat's tall, lean body and striking spotted coat make these gorgeous animals look a bit like miniature cheetahs. Savannahs have been crowned the world's tallest domestic cat by the Guinness Book of World Records. Their height and weight are totally dependent on how many generations removed an individual cat is to her wild serval ancestor. A fun fact about savannah cats is that they love water. They bravely swim where other cats fear to go. They are also very expensive. A first-generation savannah cat can cost more than $20,000. The cost for later generations is much lower, but can still top $1,000. Jaglians are number 9 on our list. Jaglians are a rare hybrid species of big cat family. They are a result of crossbreeding between a female lion and a male jaguar. To date, there haven't been any matings of a male lion and a female jaguar, so that hybrid doesn't have its own special name. It has the dark background color of a lion, 
complemented by brown rosettes reminiscent of a jaguar's, along with a powerful build. They are very rare and there are two, perhaps the only two in the world in Ontario at Canada's Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary. Last on the list is the Koi Wolf. Koi Wolf have a completely new genetic makeup. They are the result of mating between coyotes, wolves, and dogs. Their genes are a quarter wolf DNA, two-thirds coyote DNA and the rest is from domesticated dogs. They were created when previously separate wolf and coyote populations merged in the land north of the Great Lakes. Koi wolves do look slightly different from regular western coyotes. They have longer legs and a longer body, smaller ears, a bushier tail, a larger jaw, and a wider skull. They weigh between 35 and 45 pounds, and they usually live in families of three to five if food is abundant. They are a little wilder than a poodle, but less scary than an actual wolf. Koi wolves will take down a deer just like a wolf though. They don't limit their diet to rabbits and small rodents. The koi wolf is a coyote-wolf hybrid found throughout eastern North America, from Canada south to Virginia. There's no real estimate of how many koi wolves lurk in Americans' backyards at night, but their number is in the millions. Thank you for watching, please do like, share and subscribe for more content.